Hey vegan food explorers, I've got a review today of something sweet and something great and it is the Taste of Difference Single Estate Venezuelan Dark Chocolate. Let's get into the video. So I picked this up from Sainsbury's because you know that because it's Taste of Difference, that's their deluxe range and it cost me not five pounds, not four pounds, not three pounds, one pound 45p. So one pound 45p for what I would say, it looks great. It's their single estate Venezuelan dark chocolate. It's got really nice packaging. It's this kind of soft cardboard. It's 70%. I definitely think you could buy this as a treat for yourself or I would definitely say this is like, a, I mean, it's not Christmas, but a stocking filler or just like a small little birthday treat or someone, something like that. If I got that, I'd be like, wow, this is, it kind of looks to me a bit like Hotel Chocolat kind of luxury thing, but it's literally £1.45 from Sainsbury's. So that's great. Before we open it up, I want to say this is a classic thing where when I show this, people come around my house or whatever and they say, oh, you got chocolate, you can't eat that, you're a vegan. Oh, I can't imagine vegan chocolate. What would that taste like? And it's just so crazy because chocolate is vegan. Chocolate, cocoa is all vegan. It's only when you have milk that it becomes non-vegan. And there's loads of other things, which we're gonna get into shortly, what you can add to replace the milk. So you don't need milk at all to have delicious chocolate. So let's have a look. So this is 70% rich and smoky, loving it. I mean, we're not even gonna bother. Normally with these reviews, you'll, if you've watched a few vegan food explorers, you know that we're gonna pick up on the nutrition but this is chocolate. You're not eating this to hit your protein. You're not eating this to get your, your carbohydrate. You're eating this for pure flavor. I eat it um, just a single square, a couple of squares, or actually I've been trying to get more nuts in my in my diet. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I have some nuts, but you know, eating your nuts is a bit boring. So just have your nuts and crack open a couple of beads. Great. Right, let's open this up. So packaging, like I said, really nice cardboard. Um, how much how many grams is it? So it's 100 grams. So I've actually eaten two. So it comes up to about here, which I think is pretty decent in size. Right, I'm going to flip you around now. So yeah, so once you've taken off this cardboard, you then get this foil. So really nicely packaged up. Let's tear this away. So it's really dark, really dark here. 70% though, so it's not kind of, you know, your 90% just pure cocoa but it's got really nice little detail on here it's kind of those cocoa beans let's have a quick look at the ingredients then so what do they use instead of milk i hear you say um actually great let's just do this this unique single estate blah 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 well-rounded flavor clean crisp finish the cerda lago cocoa in the is grown in the maracaibo lake very nice and it's fermented in wooden boxes looks like a double space there i think they've got a double space in the copy there very naughty, but anyway, just in between the fermented and wooden. I'm working advertising, so I've picked these. I can't can't ignore that. Uh, but anyway, drying the sun, benefit, benefiting from the ideal temperatures and humidity of the Zulia state. That's why you can taste the difference. Very nice. I love that. I love the packaging, like we said. So what they got ingredients-wise, it's cocoa mass, cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter. So cocoa butter is what they often use instead of milk. And an emulsifier, so blah 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 vanilla extract oh that's interesting it's got a bit of vanilla extract uh yeah so it's 70 percent minimum so that's it that's all you need to make it super super um super super nice chocolate okay and cocoa cocoa butter is extracted from the cocoa bean so it's the fat that's extracted so it's really smooth uh and there we go vegetarian it is actually vegan so we can be confident in that so let's actually get into the chocolate here so like i said you get you get uh, 10, duh, 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 four, yeah, 10, 10 squares, and they're pretty big. Let's have a look. So per, per two pieces, 120 calories. We do care about that, which I think is just the perfect amount, because that is pretty big. It's almost a bit size of kind of my, you know, half a hand. That's pretty good. And it's, it's really, I definitely feel if you eat two of these, it's definitely kind of satisfying. So let's have a quick bite. That is so nice. It definitely tastes, it just tastes like a, a posh chocolate it's got so much more flavor depth the texture is great the texture really does crumble and then it just melts in your mouth it's really really nice so they describe it as rich and smoky i think that 100 describes it it is really rich but then it's got that 
kind of kick. It reminds me of a whiskey. No, it's not really like a whiskey, but it's got that that multiple tech layered texture. Really, really nice. If you had this with ice cream, it would be amazing. Vegan ice cream, chopped up or shaved, would be amazing. And um, what else do they say? They say well-rounded flavour and a hint of smoke. Yeah, smoke. Uh, yeah, smoky. I think rich and smoky. It really does taste like a properly luxurious chocolate. So one pound forty-five. I think this is probably the deal of the century. Best thing to buy probably in Sainsbury's if you want a really sweet treat without breaking the bank and it's 100% vegan. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.